Hi, uh, this is the uh, Equasim uh, GCA software generative component, and this algorithm, uh, this is a little bit long algorithm, uh, it is for making a space frame in, the, in GC by just changing the parameter, and easily you can make your uh, space frame to layer uh, with any different distances and with uh, any difference, for example, elements or anything. And just uh, you can get it with the 3D modeling or line files for using in the SAP and uh, other softwares for the uh, structural calculation and analysis. Uh, for changing, you can just uh, use the control panel uh, for changing the parameter to have your model uh, with this algorithm. For example, uh, you can change the, uh, the, file, the distance between the uh, here I and mean the distance between the arc, the first layer. Uh, with, uh, with this part, the slider X, for example, I change it to the 25, and uh, you can see it changed to the 25 meter, and all the 3D model changed to. And uh, you can also change the height of the uh, space frame, it is, for example, 3 meter right now, I change it to the 5 meter. And it changed all of them. And also, you can change, for example, uh, elements here. For example, it's divided to the 10 elements, slider divide arc. And for example, I change it to the 8 or maybe 6. It means we have bigger elements. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 elements. And uh, slider lens. Lens is about the, the lens of the, this part. But before that, I want to uh, learn about the offset, the slider offset is the distance between these two layers. For example, it's right now uh, 85 centimeter, and uh, for example, I change it to the one and a half meter. And you can see it's changed. And uh, you can also change the length of this uh, space frame. For example, right now, the distances between these elements are uh, about, let me find it, the size of lens is one and a half meter. For example, I change it to the two meter. And the number of these lens is right now the 10. I change it to the, for example, 15. And now I have 15 elements. And also, I can change the 3D modeling shapes. For example, I can change the radius of the pipe. It is right now 10 centimeter. For example, I can change the, the for example, to 20. It is bigger. Or I can change the radius of the sphere, for example, to 25. Change too. All of them, it can be changed and described, and you can just easily export your 3D model in the, any other formats, for example, like uh, DGN, like DWG, like, for example, the Rhino file, or Revit file, or uh, the, even uh, the CAD file, or any other uh, format you need. And uh, it's just easily using the uh, GC, Generative Component, and the system software.